Not a central Canada in the devastating bus crash involving a junior hockey team. The death toll staggering, at least 15 people killed, many of them teenagers, and at least 14 people injured. That bus said to have been T-boned by a tractor trailer. Here's ABC's Ron Claiborne. The horrific scene. A bus ripped open, wreckage spilled onto a rural highway, and tonight a nation in mourning. This after the bus with the Canadian Junior Hockey League's Humboldt Broncos team on board, T-boned by a tractor-trailer truck in Saskatchewan. Fifteen people on the bus killed. Among the dead, the Broncos coach, Darcy Hogan, and Jackson Joseph, the son of a former NHL player. The worst nightmare has happened. Fourteen others on the bus were injured. The father of one tweeting this heart-wrenching photo of injured players holding hands. We will never forget the members of our Broncos family who were taken from us and who were injured. The Broncos, whose players range in age from the teens to 20, were on their way to a semi-final Junior League hockey game. In a statement, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau saying, an entire country is in shock and mourning. This is every parent's worst nightmare. Canadian police say the driver of that tractor-trailer truck was not injured in that accident. He was initially detained for questioning, but has since been released and is now said to be undergoing psychological counseling. Tom? A truly sad story. All right, Ron, thank you so much. And as the community in the country mourns those victims, the investigation into how that crash happened is just beginning. With many questions left to answer, officials say finding the answers and who was responsible will take time. After the devastating collision that left more than a dozen players from a small town Saskatchewan junior hockey team dead, a community and a country mourns. This tragedy has hit um, a number of people, not just us. The team was on its way from Humboldt, Saskatchewan to Nipawin, where it was set to play Game 5 of a playoff series against the local team, the Hawks. At around 5 p.m. on Friday, about halfway through the Broncos' journey, 30 kilometers north of Tisdale, the bus was heading north on Highway 35. A semi was heading west on Highway 335 when the two collided. Details of what happened are still unclear, but the president of the Nipawin Hawks says the semi T-boned the player's bus. Those who were injured, some in critical condition, are recovering in hospital in Saskatoon. The driver and lone occupant of the tractor-trailer unit was not injured in the collision. Police say the driver was briefly in custody but was released and it's too early to tell if there will be criminal charges. Even the Mounties admit there are far more questions than answers as the investigation gets underway. This is a very involved investigation and due to the large amount of evidence, information, and the number of victims, this work will take some time. Police say they will look at road conditions, weather conditions, and any potential technical issues with the vehicles. But for now, people close to the team are grieving those lost and praying for those still clinging to life.